Good morning, class. This is your writing, and this writing is a myth. I'm going to be using a stick. If you have it printed out, it'll be like your finger, and you point to the words as I'm reading so you can learn the words. If you don't have it printed out, look along week 13, either on the district website or on class tag. Now I'm going to disappear, and you're going to see just a stick. So, the title is The Clever Hair. And before I read it, I want to give you a little bit of history. Do you ever wish that you could get your chores, your jobs done without actually having to do them? In this myth, which in this case would be good versus evil, from Africa, the clever hare, hare meaning rabbit, does exactly that. Stories about clever animals, tricksters, are very popular in Africa. Here's the continent of Africa. The clever hare. Hare needed to plow to cut his field so that he could plant a crop, a garden. But plowing was a lot of work. Hare did not want to do that much work. Hare was clever, he was smart. So he thought up of a way to solve his problem. He dragged a long piece of rope across his field and then hid in the bushes on the other side. Soon a big African elephant came stomping by. Hare jumped out to greet the elephant. I bet I can beat you in a game of tug and war, Hare said. The huge elephant laughed. Ho, ho, ho. He thought he could easily beat the small hare. The elephant picked up one end of the rope in his trunk. Hare picked up the other end and hurried back into the bushes. Out on the other side of the back across his field, there he hid a row of bushes on the other side. Before long, a great mud-covered hippopotamus came thudding by. So a lot of hippopotamuses were coming along. Hare jumped out into his path. I bet I can beat you in a game of tug and war. Hare said. The hippopotamus knew that he was stronger than the hare, so he took the bet. He picked up the end of the rope in his teeth. Hare shot back into the bushes, there hidden from both of the massive animals, so the, the first animal didn't see him, let alone the muddy animal didn't see the other animal, so he was hiding. He tugged on the rope. When the elephant and the hippo felt the rope moving. They both started pulling. The strong animals dragged the rope back and forth, back and forth, until sunset. The sun went down. And every time the rope moved, it plowed another row in the hare's field. So think about what he did. Okay. He was hiding behind the bushes, and behind the bushes, he had a muddy hippopotamus pulling the rope for him where the elephant thought he was pulling the rope with the hair. So here you go, let's answer the questions. Number one, why doesn't hair want to plow his own field? Now go back and reread this right here. This should tell you. And give me a complete answer, capital space, period. Who plows hair's field? Read it in here. Remember, the hair was a trickster playing a trick. Write down who plows the field. Number three, what personal quality does Hare use to get his field plow? It means what kind of animal was he? Was he honest? Was he dishonest? Was he a trickster? Tell me in a sentence, not one word. Number four, is what Hare does an honest thing or not? So what he did, was it honest? Yes. Or was it not? No. And then tell me why, if you said yes, why was it honest? If it's no, tell me why it was not honest. Okay? So you need to go back and do the reading again so you can answer these questions correctly. So until next time, happy reading and writing.